Here comes the handsome and talented Umberto. Uh -oh. You forgot arrogant, Corey. That's confident, the Saxton. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Umberto. You know, there was a time when he used to impress the WWE Universe with his high-flying skills, but now, all he's concerned about is scoring phone numbers at the after party. The Lethal Lothario is here. The high-risk heartbreaker, Angel. And his partner from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds, Angel. One half of the lethal lovers, Los Lotharios. And now women are interested in his cousin Umberto, too. What a great wingman. for this Lothario to get lethal. Oh yeah, I am pumped for this guy. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. Oh boy, here we go, tag team matchup underway. There is a tremendous amount of trust that goes with being a tag team. Your future is not only in your hands, but in the hands of your partner as well. That's something to keep in mind during this one. Umberto gets the better there. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Sent into the corner, wicked clothesline. He gets tagged in. Arabian press. And just like that, we kick the tempo up a notch. Oh, a close line. Oh, reversal catches Umberto. Hits the drop kick. Well-timed dodge. <laughs> Set to the outside. 
outside. Going to risk it all right here. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Going to do it. Suicide dive. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. What's he being put in? Death Valley Bar. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Close line. Boom. Carefully measured knee drop. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. Tag is made, and here we go. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. of that one from all the way over here. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Ooh, vicious kick. Cover. Shoulders are down. Early kick out. Referee ran on top of the action. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Locked face first. And Mysterio there being taught a lesson himself. Handle. 
we've seen Ray coming. He's returning fire. And Ray Mysterio connected nicely right there. How much longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat? Every obstacle has been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. Butterfly pile driver and the cover for the win. And he makes the save for his team. Turned that one around. Angel double underhook. Wing clipper into the comes out on top in this tag team match. for your winners, an impressive effort from this duo. Two minds working as one in the ring to create. Gentlemen, it is prime time. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Obviously, this man's grown cocky. He doesn't respect the locker room veterans. But Cedric Alexander does possess the skill to back up the aforementioned cockiness. This man's opponent has winning embedded in his DNA. A major test when facing off against Braun Breaker. This is one intimidating superstar. I agree with you, Saxton. I pity those who pick a fight with Braun Breaker. And his opponent, representing the Wolfpack, Greenwood Stock, Georgia, weighing in at 200 at 30 pounds. We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. The bell rings, and guys, you can just see the intensity in Braun Breaker's eyes, can't you? Absolutely, Cole. Breaker always brings a powerful mix of strength and intensity to the ring. And tonight should be no different. He's like a dog with a bone when he gets going. Like father, like son, some could say. And Cedric Alexander, very underrated superstar in my opinion. Came in with a lot of buzz, has tasted sporadic success, and is just looking for that last thing to put it all together. That's big picture, but for the purposes of this match, you simply cannot count out a guy with the level of skill that Cedric has. He calls himself Prime Alexander for a reason. Cedric Alexander isn't the biggest superstar in the WWE, but we also know that doesn't get him down. How is he going to approach this match tonight, Corey? The same way he approaches most matches, Cole. 
For what Alexander lacks in size, he more than makes up for pure athleticism. Compound that with his innovative, often fearless in-ring moves, and he's got a lot of ways to win. He is just reeling from that offense. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Paying it right back with a reversal. He saw that one coming. with their head. Boy, oh, European uppercut. What a close line by Braun Breaker. Displaying his power with a high back body drop. And look at that oh, jarring spine buster. And he sends him into the corner. Metal rope forearm on point. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah! Wow! Power bomb! And now Breaker is playing to the crowd. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Shoulder tackle! Braun Breaker has his target acquired. This could end it all. Breaker showing just how intense he's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. A dejected Cedric Alexander having to accept this result. A very intimidating showing for Braun Breaker. Looking very dominant in this one.
This is a match she has long been asking for. She is more than ready to compete tonight. Do you guys have any expectations for this superstar as this match gets underway? Yeah, I expect to see a side of her that we've only seen glimpses of. I'm talking about her mean streak really coming to the forefront. She certainly has that malicious side of her, and it could be extremely beneficial to let it out here. And then we've got the pampered princess herself, Tiffany Stratton. She may have her good looks, but she's got a real bad attitude. She's condescending and thinks there's no one as skilled or as pretty as her here in WWE. Well, I don't think you have to be so ugly about your opinion of Stratton. It's not her fault she's a natural athlete who is gifted with immaculate features. The truth is she can talk down to other people because when she gets in that ring, she has all the power and talent she needs to prove her superiority. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Getting set up for something in the corner. counter reversal after reversal these two are ready for each other great job refocusing to reverse that and both athletes showing that they have each other's number oh look at this looking to platter with a ddt uh tiffany manages to counter what a shot! She steers clear of that one. Just doing anything they can to chip away at the base. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. That could produce a dislocation or at the very least, a pinched nerve. Tiffany Stratton is still a relative newcomer to sports entertainment, still a somewhat unknown quality as far as competitors go. With that in mind, Corey, what do you think we can expect to see from her in this one? Well, Tiffany's been trained by the best people her daddy's money can buy, Cole, so obviously we can expect greatness. But on top of that, she also possesses a combination of impressive strength and athleticism that I'm sure we'll see in action here tonight. And another counter. Using the ropes. Sidewalk slam delivered. She's starting to tire a little. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Stratton is all fired up. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. Tiffany throwing caution to the wind. Launching. Steer clear of that. Toss back into the ring. Oh, catapulted down on the opponent. Beautiful gator roll. Great way to disorient your opponent. Can she keep her down? She breaks the count quick. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Uh, off the rope. A counter answered by another counter. And a knee to the chin. go as planned there. Taken down by the neck. Oof. Oh! Tiffany Stratton showing the WWE Universe more love than they deserve. Fireman's carry position across the shoulders. Nice rolling 
fireman's carry. That move took every ounce of athleticism Stratton had. She's going up. Top rope here. From the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. Let's just enjoy this. Tiffany with the exclamation mark. Two. Right, a kick out. She's not done yet. No telling how much surviving that will cost, though. I don't know how someone kicks out of that. I don't know how you can still be standing. That is firing your biggest shot, but leaving your prey left standing. Time to reload. Momentum really on Stratton's side now. Yeah, as expected, Stratton putting all of her training to work. Combined with her athleticism, she's proving difficult for opponents to find an answer to. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Brief sign of adrenaline from her. Arm wrench. Oh, blocks the punch and a knee to the chin. Kick to the gut creates separation. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Drop kick hits the mark. She was clearly waiting for that. Missed timing with that springboard. No oh, oh, oh. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Right from the rope for the shoulder breaker. Double axe handle smash. Oof. Oh. oh my! Tiffany is taking charge. Tiffany is unloading attacks here. The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rose legacy.
All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. a dynamic and exciting superstar to watch between the ropes. Nobody does it better, at least according to him. Well, I fail to see how anyone could disagree. Hayes has ridiculous athleticism and a skill ceiling that's only getting higher. Is he prepared for an opponent with the family pedigree and natural talent of Cody Rhodes? That's a great question, and luckily for us, we won't have to wait long to get the answer. Carmelo Hayes has the confidence of a seasoned professional. He's not afraid to let everyone know it would be more abrasive if he didn't back it up so well. And that confidence has been on... Take off. Oh, that'll destroy your nose. He was elusive there. And look at front B. Back suplex. Dropping the elbow. Nasty shot. And now the blood is flowing from Mello's face. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Springboard leg drop. Wicked kick to the lower back. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Ah, blow to the bread basket. Makes him pay with a counter. Setting up. Suplex! Carmelo Hayes has a lot going for him tonight, Corey, but what does he have going against him? Overconfidence. Carmelo deservedly believes he thinks he has it. A kick out before the referee can get to one. At this point of the match, I'm not surprised. Rose dropping his opponent with a couple close lines, catches the leg and sweeps it. Nice from the American Nightmare. Sharp kick. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Ooh, man. Look at this. Oh, no. Crashing hard. To the floor. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Springboard off. For the middle of the rope. What a roundhouse kick. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no way, no way! Pedigree by Rhodes! The American Nightmare soul is on fire now. He has an answer for Rhodes. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. That's gonna fire you up with anger. Beautiful hip toss. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Counters! Clothesline. And there's another one. Uh, caught the kick. Intercepted. Nice sweep of the leg. There's some power behind that punch. 
Looking for a scoop slam. No. Slips behind. Inverted DDT. Boom. Boom. Here's the cover. And he doesn't let the pin last long at all. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. He's got him in the crosshairs. Look out! Somersault plunge out of the floor. Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Carmelo turns that away. Neckbreaker. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Rose kick to the gut, drops out. Going down low, shot to the throat. Take him out at the knee. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. He went right into that turnbuckle. Is out of the way. Oh, here it comes. Up. And the bionic elbow. Rhodes has become relentless. And there's that overconfidence of Carmelo Hayes, which has backfired as he takes offense. We have seen such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. And now's the time where the smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. Needs to figure out the quickest way to end this. Oh, a springboard!